November 12, Tuesday, the Memorial of St. Josaphat, Bishop and Martyr. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, Come here immediately and take your place at the table? Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat? Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink while I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord unprofitable servants the servant in the parable who is held as a measure for the servant of god is far from being useless or unprofitable the greek akrios does not mean useless but carries the idea of humble condition insignificant or negligible the servant does many things for his employer and master but he does not lay claim to any special reward or gratitude, being a mere servant and nothing more. He simply fulfills his duty as a servant. In the life of a servant of God, a human person is not a partner, capable of concluding as an equal, a contract or deal with God. Even his friendship with God does not give him the right to expect some sense of return. A servant executes the orders received from God without expecting any recompense. Before God, we are all mere servants. If we see ourselves, thus God, who rejoices in the humble heart, will raise us up and give us more than we can ever imagine. Our human nature tends to make us seek return or affirmation for the good we do. Can we serve as best as we can, even if our service is pro bono or gratis?